Right, in the next couple of videos, what we're going to do is a little bit of GCSE revision just to get you, you know, confident with some very basic ideas. Um, and also to extend them if you're not ha so happy with such a thing as factorising. So we're going to start off in this video with expanding brackets, okay? Um, you might feel that uh, you could do with skipping this video if needs be, but you might also want to keep watching this really just to see where people go wrong, okay? And it still happens, I still see students in uh, the second year of A-level still making silly mistakes like this. So, let's start off with something very simple. Something like, um, well let's do something like this first. Okay, some uh, multiplying out one single bracket here. Okay, nice and straightforward, nothing complicated. So, depending on how you want to do this, you might still use a grid, um, so you might still be, well, still happy with doing something like this, okay, just to make sure you're multiplying everything correctly, or you might be using arrows, okay, this was the way that I was originally taught how to use arrows, but it's up to you whether you use the grid, doesn't really matter to me. So we have 3x times 5x, you've got the 3 times the 5 makes 15, x times x makes the x squared, and then we have 3x times minus 2 is minus 6x. And it'll be exactly the same in here, 3x times 5x is 15x squared, and 3x times minus 2 is minus 6x. Okay, so nothing really new there. Um, in multiplying out double brackets, that's where some mistakes still get made. So let's have something like x take away 5 and x plus 2. Okay, so in using arrows, you have x times the x, x times the plus 2, minus 5 times x, and minus 5 times 2. Okay, or if you want to use the grid, you would have uh, x minus 5 and x plus 2. You might have another way of set, setting it out. doesn't really matter. So really, at this stage, imagine that you don't, you're not happy with doing the grid. Where are the mistakes usually being made? Well, the mistake is usually in the case of where someone goes, well, x times x is x squared minus 5 times 2 is minus 10, okay? And multiplying out the brackets that way. That is the most common error in things like this. Make sure you don't do that, okay? And you might spot as the reason why that's not correct, because there is, they have not multiplied x by the 2 and the minus 5 by the x. So there needs to be another term there, the linear term. So, we have... I'll do it in black then. Um, x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. Minus 5 times x is minus 5x. And minus 5 times 2 is minus 10. And then you can combine these two terms to make uh, 2x take away 5x is minus 3x. Okay? And that is expanded correctly. And you'd have exactly the same thing in the grid. x squared. 2x minus 5x and minus 10. And you just need to combine those two terms. Okay? No real problems there. So let's just do one final one with some nasty bits in it, I guess. It's just to practice your expanding. Um, let's make it a little bit tricky, let's put in something like um, 5x minus 7 and we can have 3 minus 2x, something like that, okay? Um, nothing wrong with that, using the same method, I'm not going to bother drawing out the grid this time, okay? If you prefer to use the grid then by all means follow, th follow on trying that out. So we have 5x times 3 makes 15x, 5x times minus 2x, okay, makes 
minus 10x squared. Then we've got minus 7 times 3 is minus 21. And minus 7 times 2x makes 14x, positive 14x. Okay, so we just need to reorder this a little bit. I'm going to put the minus 10x in squared in front. Then we've got 15x plus 14x is 29x plus 29x, and we've still got that minus 21. Okay, so that's really as tough as you can really get for expanding brackets. And hopefully, you know, you're, you're already good at this, and I just wanted to make sure I've shown you where students most often go wrong, just to make sure that you don't.